Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another awesome episode of Ask the Cold Peppers. Woo -woo! And we're the Cold Peppers. Yes, we're the Cold Peppers. And we want to take this time to give a shout out to our sponsor, the Baby Spot PC Digital Global Parenting right. Magazine that has all of your parenting uh, resources to help empower you as a parent to be the best that you can be. Also, just another reminder, we are not licensed counselors mm -mm. or therapists, nor are we attorneys mm -mm. or any of those mm -mm. super fancy people. We're just regular folks just like you who took this opportunity to share a little bit of the wisdom that we've gathered through parenting and through marriage. And so hopefully you'll find yourself in these stories and sometimes in the questions that are asked. That's right. And be sure to follow us on social media. Pick your pick your channel. YouTube, you can follow us. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on Facebook. Instagram. And you can follow us on Facebook. And be sure to share our videos because somewhere or somebody is dealing with this same situation. Mm -hmm. And we'll add our comical, uh, informative spin onto these questions. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Round of applause. Right round of applause. Round of applause. applause. Round of applause. And speaking of questions, we're going to go ahead and dive right into right. the next question for this week. This, Let's do it. This is a good one. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Culpeppers. This is going to sound crazy, but it's my life. Help! There's a lot of exclamation points. I have a big pool in my backyard and I love to entertain. On top of it all, my best friend lives a block away and she always brings her kids. She has a toddler um, and my best friend says he's a natural potty trainer. When he feels the urge to go, he just goes on my lawn and pees on the flowers, wherever. She says, it's the new way to potty train. I think it's disgusting. My son is turning three in a month and I don't want her son raining, literally, on my son's parade by peeing in front of all of our guests. What do I do? This is from Claire in Canada. And we're calling this one PP or forget it. So, so this is a little fun. Okay, so I have to tell a story, and Derek knows where I'm going to go with this. So, my Let's cousin Kevin, who is really more like my brother, and so my kids call him up. What's Kevin. up, Kevin? I know you're going to um, see this. We're going to definitely tag him in this one. I, I love his son, and and um, when I was teaching and had the summers off, all the kids would come and spend the summer with me. Um, and the coolest part was we would ride bikes and we right, would right. swim every right, day. Right. Like we would take walks and do picnics. We right, go to right. the zoo and to the movies. Like we did all of these things with the kids, which they loved um, but at one point there was a lot of outside peeing going on and and we would be on bike rides and there would be peeing in bushes and and it was a bit of a go whenever I feel the notion I've never heard of this natural potty training but I think it's something we experienced but truly it required us just having a conversation and training about what's the differences between maybe your house and your pool mm -hmm. and your friend's house and her pool um, and it's tricky because if you guys are truly friends she'll respect how you feel because for me personally I think this is a little disgusting too like I don't want to accidentally step in where someone has recently peaked I got to say the same thing because now now y'all got them all from the country so <laughs> you remind us pe often peeing in the backyard, <laughs> peeing around a tree, that kind of thing. That was kind of norm as a child. Now, ain't no grown folks doing it. You know what I'm saying? But like that, because when I was growing up, I'm gonna be honest. When I we were growing up in the country, I don't remember no flower beds, well manicured yards. I remember sand, some dry looking grass. You know some, but it wasn't no no big issue. I don't remember no rose bushes and two tur two tulips and all that. I'm sure you had some flowers. Right there. But I don't remember. I remember a crate basketball goal hung on a tree, that kind of thing. So so peeing anywhere was it was everything was game. Yes. Everything was game. All right? systems go. Yeah, all systems go. And so, you know, but now that I done got a little bit older and so forth, I don't condone because I'm real particular about my flower beds and my yard. I don't yes. even like the dog pissing in the bushes. Oh. But but I, I would have to say uh, that they she might want to have a conversation with her friend because if you got guests that come over there, you yeah. know how it is. It, you know you got a lot of stuff going on there. If you got a lot of people there and you got kids around there, some people don't mind. Some people are very innocent, but then some people may be offended if their daughter or son is out there and they seeing somebody pee in the bushes and so forth and so on, and yeah. then they may they may feel it may make them feel uncomfortable. That's, yes. that's kind of the way I said. I wouldn't have my kids do it if they were two or three hours now. You need. Come go to the bathroom. Yeah, you, know, you got all kind of folks out there, ain't you? Sure, Kids sure. Looking over the 
Don't get me started. And so, again, we always start with good com com communication and having yeah. a conversation with your friends. So definitely have that conversation first. And you guys navigate these waters of what does natural potty training look like when you're away from home? Because I doubt if, let's say, you and your girlfriends decide y'all are going to take all the kids on a play date and maybe go to the mall. You're going to go to the mall. You're going to get ice cream. Um, you're going to maybe go to an indoor play facility at mm -hmm. the mall, which we have here. Yeah. I doubt she would want him peeing in the mall. So this right. whole notion of natural potty training, mm, yes and maybe no. So right. just making sure that that he understands and really that your friend understands how you feel about it and that even in natural potty training, there needs to be some natural boundaries. Um, right. And this, your pool, needs to be one of them. And I think having a good conversation in love, now you don't want to ruin no friendship sure. behind it because they're kids. Just, just having a real soft uh uh, earnest conversation. With just the two of let you. them know yeah, you appreciate the them and everything. But yeah. if we could, if we could not uh, proceed with that part right there with the natural <laughs> pride of training, it'd be a whole lot better. And you can even say why. Just say you know your kids or we, we have company. Yeah, sure. And, you know and and you know what if you get the urge that do number two. Oh. Right. What are you gonna do? Go buy the flower bed. And, well, let's let's not. Well, let's just save that because that one. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna live as a child. You don't know. I got to urge. I got to urge. I got to go. So number one, number two don't matter. Or number three, throwing up. So it don't matter. It's gotta come out some kind of way. But you know. But, but hopefully it, they can get it resolved. So no. good communication is key in this scenario. And hopefully, especially with the weather being so nice, you guys can yeah. resolve this quickly because we know you want to take advantage of all these great days hanging by the pool with friends. Yeah. Um, as always, we thank you for your question. We thank everyone who's tuned in and joined us. Please don't forget to share our videos, this one included, with people just like you and me that may benefit from this. Uh, we try to have fun, and so hopefully it's a bit entertaining. And also, we hope that you take something away. Remember, you can submit your questions using the information provided on the screen. Um, and don't forget to check out our sponsors. Um, anything else? That's it, baby. Let's go. We got to keep work. We got to do work. We got to go. All right, folks. Y'all be cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>